Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see about rotate an object with mouse touch. So let's begin. Create a cube and then create a script called mouse touch move and then open up the script. So generally, we are going to move the object using the mouse input. We are going to get the input from the mouse position and we are going to apply over the radius of your object. So this is the axis we can able to see in unity scene view. So these are the basic axis. If you press the center button, you can able to justify the basic axis. So let's drag and drop the script. So create a function called void on mouse drag. On mouse drag is used to detect the movement of your mouse positions so i just used void on mouse drag it handles drag event of a mouse so let's create one float variable maybe called float x and then we need to get the input from the mouse so i am using input dot get axis so here we are going to get the x position so i'm just using mouse x dot speed so let's define the speed here float speed rotation speed and then have any speed which you like to give for the moment i am giving rotation speed of the of your mouse and then give 10 and then just multiply with this input so we are going to see what is the function use of math f dot degree to radius so let's see before use we can see what is the use so that we can able to justify why we are using degree we are converting the degree to radius so we are using that uh, formula it's pi into 2 divided by 360 to get the radius to get the radius of a degree since we are getting the input as a degree we are going to make it as radius so that's why using math dot dig to red from unity predefined variable predefined uh, namespace math f dot degree to rad that's it so simply use semicolon at the end and then let's apply that to transform dot rotate around so let's uh, let's see the axis before that we want to make sure that which axis So I am going to have vector 3 dot up and then I am going to use rotate I am going to use 
the x position which we getting input from the mouse so let's see the output in the editor hit play make sure that script attached to the game object okay it's working fine but the problem is it's rotating on the opposite direction I think so if we add down we can able to use perfectly I'm sorry there must be an error let's change to down okay it will work now so which direction you like to make you can use on particular direction so either it's up or down you, you can use reversible process it's your wish so this is it so now we are going to use y axis so let's just command this so that you can make sure that what's going what's happening with the script so I'm just copying that and making y float y and then make mouse y this is not all same we are going to use only we are going to fetch the data from y we use right to move y ok hit play let's see ok perfect it's working now you can either change the direction by using a negative or you can use right to left it's your wish I'm just using minus y that's it okay I changed back everything okay done you can change any type whether reversible most input portion or irreversible most portion it's your wish you can change by using a positive negative and then just uncommon the old x axis let's see the both x and y axis how it's rotate yeah now you can see perfectly it's rotating so it's up it's get input from the mouse x and mouse y and applied to the degree value to radius using a math f function and we have just used transform dot rotate around to make it perfect let me have public so that we can tweak at editor okay I'll make it little bit more speed let's see yeah it's moving very fast depending upon the mouse cursor fine I can have 10 back so if you need to make the mouse touch outside uh, outside the from the cube you want you want to make sure that you should have a collider outside otherwise it won't work so make sure that your gizmos is enabled to see the collider and just enable the collider inside the game scene okay just make the full screen so that you can able to touch anywhere wherever you wish in the screen so if so let's see if it is out of screen what will be happen let's pay the this is the default okay So if I use a small y, we can't able to detect the axis of a input mouse button. So you want to make sure that 
it should be in caps the m should be in caps and o u s c should be small and then x y should be caps then only you can able to get the gesture of your mouse axis from the unity so make sure that you need to have i'm just making back to y okay now play either way you can see it's rotating from fine after you make it as caps so it should be in caps so these are the exception problem you want to make sure that while you entering your script okay let's try with some different things so what will happen if you away from the game object uh, or away from the screen let's have touch so you can't able to move the cube unless if you if you are game object or collider is inside the scene let's try yes you can't able to move that's the problem so i'm just bringing back so make sure that it will be visible in your view still i can't able to touch that it's because of that problem it's away from the visible now we can able to use see you don't get any difficulties so if you go away from the camera view then the problem will occur you can't able to touch that see okay now we have two script now we have uh, it will work now so let me have uh, two camera views i'm going to have add one more camera okay so this camera which going to hold the cube the basic main camera we are going to see so let's have a offset so that we can see uh, it's moving or not the camera so i'm going to have okay the camera the cube which hold the camera so if we rotate the camera is going to rotate okay we have offsetted the camera two cameras one so hit play and then rotate okay you can see the camera got rotating so this is it in this way you can able to rotate your uh, cubes or game object or any type of object using the mouse input position you are going to convert it as degree to radius and make it as work perfectly so if you think this video is very helpful for you you can subscribe this channel and wait for more tutorials like this so thanks for watching and please subscribe us. Bye.